Chronic pain affects absolutely every aspect of a patient's life. So people often can't work. They can't spend time with their kids the way they would like. We have so many patients who either don't get the response to pain medications that they want, or they find a medication which is helpful, but it's limited by sedation, dizziness, fall risk, constipation, the list of side effects is endless. And it would be game-changing to have another option to offer people. At Cymodyne, we're addressing the problem of chronic pain. And so what we've come up with is a new technology to try to treat people with different types of chronic pain without the side effects that plague current treatments that are available on the market. The technology that we're trying to develop is a drug, something that you will be able to take orally, hopefully not too often in the day, for which we hope there is no development of, of tolerance, which is one of the issues that you have with opioids that are effective in pain conditions, but have a lot of side effects that you know, have led to things like the opioid crisis uh, in North America. We know that pain is so complex that we need to address it from multiple different angles. And we're very lucky in Calgary that we have a very broad multidisciplinary group working on all of those issues. Dr. Zamponi's research has been very important over the years in helping us to understand some of the mechanisms for pain. He's definitely been a leader when it comes to attracting talent here and generating more interest in pain research at the University of Calgary. We are funded by multiple tri-council grants to advance basic science on calcium channels and pain. And we're looking even at opioid receptors, we're looking at brain circuits that regulate pain behavior in, in, in rodents. We do many different things. Despite the fact that chronic pain represents about 20% of the population, it represents something like 1% of federal funding for research. What UCEAT provides is the great opportunity for many of us who are trying to dabble in the biotech sector in Alberta. It's really allowed us to do things that otherwise would not have been possible. I've always been interested in discovery science. You bring a curiosity to a problem, you always find something that nobody's seen before in the world, and I find that gratifying. And, and I think if you could take a medical problem and you address it and you make a difference, even in a thousand people's lives, let alone millions, that that's an impact. 